Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Voidcraft. I know it's been a few days since we've uh, put it out in the video and things, but you know, I've had a bit on and stuff, so yeah, I guess we could just get uh, straight back into it, you know, as we do. Working on the base a little bit today, I think. I've got an idea for this room and that room up there, but I don't know if we'll get to that one today or not. We'll see how this one here goes and uh, see how we travel. Um, but I'm going to be turning this room here into a big dining hall as such, so if we come upstairs, so it's just this room here, it's on the first level, we can come up and this here will be the dining room for all of the villages and all that stuff to eat at. So we're going to be decorating this whole room and transforming it into a uh, kind of like a dining hall of such. So I guess I got a little bit of work here to do, just clearing out this kind of thing um, and taking it back and fixing up the mountain on top. But once we're done there, I'll bring you guys back and we can uh, start getting into it. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with just kind of covering in this area and just kind of changing it all to stone. Now, I don't want it to be like so boring though with just only stone. So, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly put in some stairs and things just because, I mean, some tables because I want to be able to build the wall but at the same time, I still want there to be enough room to kind of move around between the tables so I just need to kind of get an idea if I need to build one or two. There we go, I think that will be our kind of table length. So that's four spaces there. Coming down this way, one, two, three, four. It's about the same there as well, awesome. So I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, just put some stairs like along the side, it's kind of look like chairs and then we can decorate as well so we can have enough time for like an item frame with like meat in there or something like that. And then we still have like a centerpiece for um, like torches or like chandeliers kind of thing, you know, stuff like that. Now as far as the walls go, I kind of want to make them a bit more like patterny so I want to get out let's get some of this stuff out of my hot bar and let's get some stairs some of this some of these let's get some more of those let's get a bit of everything you know um, so I'm thinking from here we'll do something I kind of want it to be like every every one we do something like this and then kind of an upside down maybe and then we can continue with this up a few blocks let's go like that there and then we'll just uh, break this thing and then we'll do is it upside down and then a regular so let's get up on top of here so something like that like along the walls so just kind of decorate them as well and then so we'll do maybe that like every two blocks or something so we can do like oh that's not meant to be that way you're meant to be upside down there we go then one two you know, something like that, like all the way along the walls. And then on this side here, we could maybe either do the same thing or something different as kind of like to decorate a little, little bit more, but at least this way, then there's a bit of texture to it. And then we could even come in here with like some of our bushes as well, and then kind of, you know, make that kind of all fit in. So I might quickly go ahead and line this wall and where I can, you know, reflecting the same on that side. So if we follow this one here across, so it'd be something like here. Um, would be another one so let's do it like this and then it'd be one two three oh, like that there we go so that there should work and then obviously we won't do it on this pillar here but we'll just pick it up where we can reflecting that side so we'll see how we go here and I'll be back in a moment Alrighty, so I think I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. Um, every second one seems to be enough. I don't know if I'm going to keep these this old in line, you know, knock them down that two little bit just so they all match. Um, but I think for the meantime, it's looking pretty okay. And then I might even come in here and just kind of texture them up with a bit more wood and things, you know, just to bring it all together that little bit nicer. And we can come in here and maybe... Do I want to do that? I don't know. Let's, uh, do I have any shears on me? No, I don't. Okay. That's fine. I think that looks pretty nice. I think I will lower these two. They just don't look like in place at all. Let's get that out. 
and I think that that there ties a, a lot better together um, and then for this bottom section here I don't really know if I want to do anything too much to it I might even just come you know in here and add some stone bricks I think that will help out a little bit as well just to break up this flooring a little bit more so let's go ahead and quickly do that all right, so that there is done. I'm going to knock out these torches and see how bright the room is and where else we need some light sources in here. Let's get rid of these. I'm pretty sure I'll need a couple on the table, so I'm just going to go ahead and slab down a few of these just already. And let's get rid of you and you. So that there is looking pretty good at the moment, I think. Um, let's eat some food. Now, I was thinking as well is to maybe even extend this uh, stone bricks even all the way out to here, you know, so it kind of looks like they're all connected and it makes the floor like a little bit more interesting with like as we were doing before. And if we can like grid this whole thing up and extend it all the way across. Yeah, so I like it. It adds a little bit more detail to the place just to, you know, help it out that little bit extra. There we go. And I have an idea for what I want to do on either side of this as well. So I think I'm going to build a giant um, like campfire on either side maybe or maybe just the one end. So maybe it kind of makes more sense being at this end but this end is kind of leading out to the like outside. So we might even just chuck it on this side just here and then we can continue this pattern along this back wall just here. So maybe we might extend this along here and build the fireplace in this wall over here. Alrighty, so I just went ahead and just did this simple kind of cutout thing with a little bit extra on top for uh, some, you know, the smoke to clear off into. And then we can just go ahead and place some iron bars along here, I'm thinking. Um, do we want to do it all the way? So there we go, we have a nice little uh, fire pit just there. Um, do I, I don't know if I want to extend this a little bit more or do something. I want to do something extra up here. It looks a bit boring at the moment, but the roof that I'm, you know, planning on doing. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do for the roof yet, but whatever I decide, I hope that it's going to match a little bit better. And I was thinking of even just copying this on one side just here. Let's get rid of these torches as well. Um, just on this little edge just here, just to get some more like greenery on this side. So we do something like this and here. Um, and then for this back wall here, I think we'll just do the same designs that we have been doing just all the way around just to tie it all together. Um, I think I need to work on this a little bit more, uh, but for the moment it should be alright. I went ahead and got some brewing stands, just uh, kind of like little drinking things as well, just on the table so we can leave those up here. Um, I didn't get any item frames, so I need to go get some of those. But once we do, we have some, you know, a bit of kelp to put in there, some meat as well, so someone's having a salad or something like that. Um, and then for these, I think just for the... Um, upstairs the chairs and we're just going to do something you know pretty simple uh we might actually separate this a little bit differently so let's get rid of all these stairs and then we can go ahead and put some like signs on the uh like sides like that i think they'll look a bit better as chairs that way so we're gonna have to leave i think that'll look better so every two blocks we'll put a um chair one two chair one two chair we've got a few chairs on this side here and then we'll do the same thing on the other side i don't know if i want to stagger it one or even just get rid of like this like this one just here so then they all kind of line up and everything i think i might just do that it'll look a bit better that way i think There we go, and that there will be like kind of like the chief's table and things. He can sit up this side, um, you know, just watching over everyone and everything like that. And then for this back wall here, I think we still have room to do one there and one there. So that should work out, I think. For the roof, I was thinking just like kind of like a simple, we just extend these uh, over all the way with some slabs. Let's do something like that. Oop, there we go. And this one's gonna break, so we need to put it back. There we go. So let's just do this all the way across. And then for in between, maybe we can just kind of hang some uh, extra lanterns like over this side. This is really not working out for me. How much further can I, oh, I can walk all the way? Oop, there we go. Yeah, so we can just extend that across and then maybe even 
raise this up by one potentially um and then that could even and then maybe put some stairs like either way that could work as well um other than that it's looking pretty good so i might go ahead and just finish off the roof for this place Alrighty, so I think this whole room is pretty much finished, I believe. Um, the only thing I really need to add is uh, just some, you know, um, what are they called? Item frames on here is like kind of plates and stuff. But everything else is looking pretty good. We just might need some a couple of extra things up here for this table, maybe like something else on the side. I'll probably add a few barrels around the place that kind of look like kegs. And that's what I might actually do in the walls. That's a really cool idea, actually. I might get, like, fill this whole walls up here with barrels, right? And then put them as, like, kind of kegs or, um, you know, with the with the trap, the trip wire and stuff on there. So, I might quickly go ahead and do that. That would look pretty cool, I think. Let me let me go do that. Boom. There we go. So, that's pretty much that all there done. I did go ahead and, you know, I'm thinking about some armor sends here to kind of make it look like there's some guards watching over, like, you know, everyone in here. And I think I might put a painting or two up here i'm not sure if it's going to really fit in at all but we'll see how it looks but i think this is like making the place look a lot better i had a nice bench along here as well so this is going to be a couple more things over that way um anything in here that i can really add i don't know if i can give this person a shield one thing i do need to do in here though is add maybe like a bit of cobble around the place it's just kind of so it ties in with the rest of the um building and everything like that otherwise it's going to look a bit too neat in here where everywhere else is a bit more like broken up especially like all over the floor and things so if I just go ahead and do that it should help it out a lot more as well as far as tying in this room to everywhere else so if we just go ahead and you know just cobble up a little bit around the place I think it's really just going to help it out look a little bit more and texture it as well so let's go ahead and do that just around here let's not forget a hole and it, there we go nice and this one here as well and I think that there is the room you know as I said before, pretty much done. So I might quickly go ahead and do this other stuff and uh, we'll, we'll probably wrap up the video there, I think. Alrighty guys, I am very happy with the way this turned out. I just went ahead and got some item frames to, you know, make some plates and for everyone to have. I might still come back, put a couple of cups around the place, maybe put some more food like over here and things. But, you know, at the moment, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and things. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the whole place. Um, and we got our like chief person over here eating some pumpkin pie. I thought about putting like a enchanted apple in here, but I don't know, for the meantime, we'll be fine. I'll put him a nice cup on this side as well uh, once I make make a few of those but I think the room turned out really cool I'm really happy with it and it's kind of like a nice use of this this space um so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with it I think I might wrap up the video there guys um so if you have enjoyed it all please leave a like subscribe ring the notification bell all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video later